if you go to komodoplatform.com and you go to explore komodo you'll find the wallets link and if you go to our wallets page you'll find atomic decks at the top and if you scroll down you'll run into this section that says browse all wallets these are the different types of wallets that i'm going to talk about we have three main different categories of wallets we have a hardware wallet in cryptocurrency. We have software wallets for mobile and desktop in this example. And we have paper wallets. And I'm going to talk about what those three kinds are for the next couple minutes. A hardware wallet is an example of a wallet that lives within its own hardware space seen as a very secure wallet. So whereas Atomic Dex is an application, a piece of software that sits on your desktop, a hardware wallet is some code that sits on a physical device that's separate from whatever your main digital device may be. In this example, we're talking about Trezor, who is one of the really great hardware wallet options out there. It's usually secured with a pin and its own password on top of your normal cryptographic security that you have for your public and private keys. This means that if somebody gets a hold of your laptop or you pick up a piece of malware that's seeking your wallet or anything that's associated with keys that it can't find a software wallet on your day-to-day -day use machine so it's a very very secure wallet in that sense a paper wallet is something that you end up storing a printed piece that you store your c codes and maybe even a qr code that's associated with your private keys The idea here is that you have a completely offline method that is basically digital proof for having to be able to interact with. So if you want to store some coins for a very long period of time, you don't want to mess with them. You don't want them to be online at all. You don't even like want to necessarily associate your saved keys in a digital format. And then a paper wallet is your choice for that. Paper wallets were considered to be more secure than other forms of cryptocurrency storage. At this point, we do have hardware wallets, and we have some more robust and secure forms of software wallets. And that's what I'm going to move on to now is software wallets. So software wallets are pretty much what their name implies. They are a wallet that is built out of a software application whose goal is to be able to give you direct power over your keys for your coins. Komodo has developed an extremely robust software wallet. It's Atomic Dex. What I'll do is I'll share that and I'll talk a little bit about a software wallet and what it is. Atomic Dex is a software multi coin wallet. It allows you to store several different kinds of private keys in one software location and interact with them very easily. In the example I have up it's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Komodo, DAI, which is a stable coin and Wall Street Bets, which was an airdrop to KMD holders on Atomic Dex. These software wallets, they can be, if they're not, uh, if they're not securely built, they can be open for more problems. And this is why if you choose a software wallet as opposed to a hardware wallet or a paper wallet, it's very, very important to choose a software wallet that the team behind it 
takes security very seriously. Atomic Dex as a software wallet also has another feature built into it. Not only can you store your coins, add additional coins that you might own, more so than I have up here on the screen. Uh, but you can also exchange them in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. A, a software wallet that can exchange peer-to-peer -peer with other wallets on that network is a fairly powerful and robust tool. And this is why Atomic Dex has been built and why a Komodo team has spent so much time on it, because it represents a way in which people can store their coins in a software wallet and be able to trade non-custodially.